I think, you know, for this year, it's the expectations are, are always kind of the same and everybody knows what the ultimate goal is. So we're, we're working towards getting to that goal. I think that um, it's a sprint of a season. Obviously, the Canadian division, it's brand new. Uh, I think we're going to get acclimated quickly to the teams that we're going to play and, and the rivalries will be built really quickly. So I think this group is, is set up to, for success and we're excited to, to work towards that and, uh, and get off to a good start tonight. Hi, Zach. I'm, I'm all business on opening night. Um, <laughs> what, in what ways do you think the team's better? What are you seeing? I think we're, we're more complete. I think that uh, we have fantastic depth. I think that, um, you know, we've brought in guys who've had experience and, and uh, who have, you know, Bogo won a championship last year. So guys who have won, obviously, and, and veteran guys like Jumbo and Simmer and, and Broad. So we have so many new additions to the team and, and young guys. I think we have a, a fantastic mix of, of players that complement each other. And uh, like I said, I think that we're, we're much deeper, both offensively and, and defensively this year. So thank you. Thanks. Next up, we'll go to Luke Fox, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Luke. Hi, Zach. Um, when, when you look at the other side, what sticks out most to you about the new look Montreal Canadiens? Hey, Luke. Um, I think, you know, I think that they've made a ton of additions too. I think that they're deeper offensively and defensively as well. I think that um, they brought in a, a bunch of new players um, and they're not going to be the same team that they were last year. And, and obviously with, with the new season, there's no preseason to do any pre-scout. So this is really the first time that, that we're, we're seeing them and the first time that they're seeing, uh, you know, our new look. So uh, we're excited to go against them. And it's, like I said before, we're going to be playing them a, a ton this year. So uh, we're getting ready for the, for the rivalry. It's great. I think it's been enough time off for everyone, um, enough uncertainty. We're just happy to be back and playing hockey. So we'll take whatever we can get. Obviously, we're pumped to get going tonight. We play these guys 10 times, so this is the first of many. And it's important. I think each game is going to be very important this year because it's all in your division, and these points are important. And uh, I think we're just looking forward to getting going. It's, and quick follow-up. It's not going to be a normal opening night, uh, of course, but uh, what, are you, uh, what are you looking forward to? I know you had a bit of a, uh, a dry run on Saturday night. Yeah, I, I think just, uh, just playing again. I think just getting back to it, just getting back into a routine. Um, I mean, you know, driving here tonight at your normal time, doing your normal stuff, just getting back to it. Um, I think that's all. I, I mean, it's obviously a little bit different, like you said, than years past. But I think we just feel really fortunate to be back here playing and be back in this building. So I think we're just looking forward to getting out there. Next up, we'll go to Chris Johnson, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, Morgan. Uh, you've obviously played with, with Austin and Mitch uh, a lot over the years, but I'm wondering where the process is at on your power play unit in terms of getting used to uh, with Joe and, and Wayne and, and the ways they can be best utilized there? Yeah, I think, I mean, I mean, I know what I have to do, and I think that those guys kind of have their own plan. Um, and I think the more reps that we're able to get, the more comfortable we're going to be. And I think, you know, over time, that's just going to build and we're going to become more comfortable. Um, and I think for me, I just want to get them the puck and do my part, get, get clear shots when I can. And, um, you know, Joe and Wayne are going to talk about what they need to do when, you know, if they're changing spots with the middle guy in the net front and, you know, Austin and Mitch are going to do whatever they got to do to get the puck moving. And um, so I think that we feel confident with where we're at right now. And I think that the more reps we get, the more time we get out there together, the more comfortable we're going to get and, you know, the more confidence we're going to have. So it's just a matter of, uh, of playing and just kind of feeling it and just becoming more comfortable. Well, it's, it's really important. Uh, obviously, it's, it's the first optional skate for us here this morning. So I just wanted to get out there and, and uh, get a feel for you know, for, for the guys that are out there, have some conversations with guys. Um, but yeah, with, the, with, you know, with our, with our reserve players, which I think what we've determined is we're, we're not going to be going with the taxi squad uh, um, designation anymore. We're going with the stay ready squad. The, and I think that that speaks to the uh, mindset that we need these guys to have uh, in terms of how they have to stay ready. They got to continue to work. And it's also a reminder for us as a coaching staff that we've got to do our part to keep them ready. Um, and uh, shout out to uh, Steve Nash and the Brooklyn Nets for that because uh, they're going with that with their with their uh, non-starters. And I think it's just a great mindset to have in particular for a season like this. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. 
Hey, Sheldon, good morning. I'm just wondering, uh, you talked yesterday about how you've planned out practices and morning skates, but I'm just wondering going forward if you envision more instruction during morning skates, more of a practice feel just because of the lack of time. I know the morning skates have kind of gone the way of the dodo bird with sports science in recent years, but if maybe this season in particular, they'll have more importance. They will at different times. It all depends on the schedule. I, I think generally what we do and, and I, what I'm gathering is it's pretty much a theme across the league is that if you've practiced the day before your game that you generally have an optional skate or no skate at all. And uh, we will likely follow that. And that's what we did last season. That's what the players are more accustomed to. If we don't have a practice, uh, we likely would have a full team skate. And that's when you would see us do a little more teaching and a little bit more structured base rather than just getting them out and getting a little bit of a sweat. But yeah, that's just how we'll adapt uh, to it. Um, you know, as the schedule gets, gets heating up here.